Here's an update on my uh, 1960 Chevy Impala. Originally it was a four door, but I chopped the top and added uh, two doors. Wasn't easy, but it's possible. I gotta repair this. I'm gonna use the old door to repair it, to patch it, so it should be pretty easy. And then I uh, cut the door, I probably cut it a couple inches off and then I just shaped it to the shape of the two door and that was it. Welded it together, tack welded it and then welded it, sealed it up. I still got to do a little bit more grinding. I painted it because I have to let it sit for a little bit because I'm not going to be working on it for probably like a couple days. I didn't want it to get rust. But yeah, uh, I got to remove these panels here in the back so I can add the, I guess a panel. I think they said that the 64 fits, but I'm not too sure. I'm trying to find the original one, but if I can, then I'll just put a piece of sheet metal here and then just kind of shape it to the original one. Cause it's not, didn't have too many creases in it like this. Then I got to take the, these back hinges and get the convertible ones. Cause the convertible ones are flat and then I have to grind all this shit off here. And I gotta add my post that go here. And then there's another post that goes here. And I gotta do something with this hole right here. See how that works out. But yep, that's how I, that's how I did it. Check this out. When I welded these door pillars on, they're just tack welded for now, but I gotta figure out a way to make that stronger. Oh, missing a bolt here. It keeps falling down. But yeah, it's the car. I think it looks pretty good. Body lines are fucking awesome. They're not crooked. Panels are fine. When I got it, it had all the original chrome everything was there that was pretty cool can't wait to put it back together yeah, everyone was telling me don't do it don't do it you're gonna fuck up the car you never worked on a car like this before yeah well here it is guys a little imagination some hard work anything's possible did it with that little welder harbor freight always come through except for that one i gotta return that bitch she fucking fried on me for some reason that's the motor it's a 5.3 transmission around here somewhere well yep that's it take your time guys be patient do whatever you want oh yeah i still gotta cut some of the floor pan out still shape it out a little bit but yeah there it is oh and i gotta change out the there's the bow here for the convertible to latch onto but that uh, that's easier than all this shit for sure now, let me know if you guys got any questions feel free I don't really do the progress because I don't like all the hate. Like, ah, you don't do it like that. That's that's not how you do it. You know, I don't really care how you do it. This is how I do it. It works, it's strong, ain't going nowhere. But if you're cool, you just wanna help out, you ain't gonna be an asshole about it. I'll take your advice, no problem.